It is the greatest 10 minutes of the week on Trip Live Radio. It's my favorite, at least. Forget the uh, wrestling talk. Forget the talk of Penguins and Steelers and that baseball team. It's time to talk about Blush and Naked Girls. That's right. Blush, <laughs> Night Street downtown. It's where you got to be if you're in Pittsburgh. And this weekend, a last-minute change, but a very positive change. First time in Blush? Yes. Miss Brittany Shannon is here with us. Follow her on Twitter, uh, Brittany Shannon X. Yes. Correct. And uh, you got quite the background that we have like so many things to dive into. Like We, yeah. we can talk wrestling. We can talk Howard Stern, we can talk boobs, we can talk feet. Let's do it all. Okay. Where do you want to go first? I'll let you steal the conversation. All right. Well, I the background. Either. My background. Um I was messing around on Twitter. I started an account, had no idea what I was doing. Um Ronnie Munn had contacted me from the Howard Stern mm-hmm. show and he's like, Hey, I'm doing this thing, hot chick of the week on Twitter. Will you be my first one? And it's been going on for years now. Like this was two thousand and eleven, right. so I was the original hot chick of the week. And then Howard TV contacted me to be Miss Howard TV. Mm -hmm. And it was a very short interview, and I got it. I was actually live on the air with Howard the day after Lady Gaga, and I ended up becoming really close, like, family friends with Ronnie Mond. So... Yeah. So what what were you give me your background before being discovered on the wonderful thing that is Twitter? I was an amazing stripper. <laughs> an amazing stripper. Yeah. All right. What uh g- give me g- give me give me give us a tease for blush now since we're talking the stripping. Give us a tease. What is what can we expect in a Britney Shannon show? Um a lot of tattoos, obviously. A lot of tattoos. Like I know what I'm doing. It's sexy. Mm. I make it hot. I get close to the guys. I can like, see that. You're, yeah. You probably you probably like walk a a very fun line of like sensual and like hardcore. Yeah. Well, it's some of it's hardcore, some of it's sensual. But tonight I'm gonna. I'm not a Steelers fan, but I'm going to dress up in a Steelers outfit. Play to your audience. It's yeah. all good. Local pop. It's fine. Yeah. I'm doing it. Which jersey? Which outfit? Do you have any, any jerseys or is it just a... No, I'm actually going to go buy a t-shirt, like a white t-shirt. I'm going to autograph it and like sell it to one of my fans. Good call. Good marketing. Yeah. You can see her at Blush. Uh, again, 9th Street downtown tonight and tomorrow night. Again, follow her on Twitter. Um, and of course, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as you're seeing her right now. I mean, she's she's rocking, you know, heels, jeans, and a black top, and she still looks smoking hot. <laughs> uh, you're hiding tattoos from us, so what's going on yeah. right here? What well, we no, my whole back. Everything. Oh, give, us a, give us a peek. Look at this. Look at this. I'll tell you what. There's not there, there's not many there's not many fantasies I My have. My whole stomach too. Oh. Look at this. What or what's your favorite one? Give us like I, a I don't have a favorite. You don't have one. a favorite no, one? No, they're all my favorite. What was the first one? Um it was a quarter sleeve. There's a Japanese dragon. It goes around to like right here over my collarbone and wow. onto my whole back's done from top to bottom. Sexy. Um, some people, some people don't like the tattoos, but very few people. I think the tattoos just make it all. Some some guys, I think, get intimidated by the tattoos, but I just I get turned on. So I'm like, I know she can kick my ass, and it's really <laughs> hot. All right. So Miss Howard TV, and then what happened after that? That kind of propelled everything, right? Uh, yeah. And then Tabitha Stevens, who is big on the Howard Stern mm. show, um, legendary porn star. She's actually my best friend now. She, I approached her about. Um, getting into the adult industry and she kind of guided me and took me under her wing and i kind of got lucky because i skipped over like the bottom yeah and i i shot for browsers right away and mofos and was that so was that something that's always in your mind that you'd want to do if and you just happened to get the right connection or did or did it did they no kind of i come? just like i met her and she was it she's not what i thought a porn star was right so, because we're really just real people you know oh, yeah. okay. so um after that i was just wanted to do it see because you, you would have to i would think with you as, as a porn star it's when well, it has been successful so far what's great is you have the somewhat of the traditional blonde look with the blonde and the big boobs but you then but then you mix the tattoos in so you kind of yeah. you kind of cross all uh cross all audiences so you go into doing porn and so far it's been successful how many how many films would you say um over 13 now in a year what's been your, what's been your favorite uh all right i <laughs> But I think my best scene so far, I shot for Brazzers um, with James Dean. It was an anal scene, mm-hmm. but I played like an 80s rocker chick. Right. And he it. was like a roadie. I like it. Yeah. Very fitting. Yeah. That's probably, that's probably, it it that's got probably. very violent at certain points. Really? Like, so it was, it was an intense scene. Are you into that? I guess so. I mean, I was all bruised afterwards. <laughs> but <laughs> no bru- but it, no. was, it was good. Well, it's good battle scars. Good stories. Yeah. Time. 
So what's the uh, what's I mean? Do you, is this is this where you want to stay? Are you happy with this career, or do you want to continue? Because um, you seem like you have the potential to <laughs> branch to anything. It feels like you can yeah, do anything. I actually started shooting horror films. Mm-hmm. So, and you have a buddy that does this with you. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Well, I haven't shot one with him yet, but I will. Um, I I shoot for trauma right now. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to be in Return to Newcomb High Volume Two, which is going to be in theaters, and. Another movie, but I can't talk about it, also for trauma. And in Atlantic City, um, John Henderson, he does expos down there. So it's a horror expo. It's called yeah. Bizarre AC, which we did the first one. And now we're doing Bizarre AC 2, which is in June. It's June, Friday the 13th to the 15th. Okay. And me and Gene Snitsky, um, Brian O'Halloran from Clerks, and a whole bunch of other big names just shot this amazing crazy commercial hodgepodge of personalities there yeah it, me and gene played like kidnappers murder van it, 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 we had a midget beating somebody up it was awesome naturally and for those wrestling fans that uh that, that uh, the name rings a bell gene snitsky of course you remember former wwe superstar it's not my fault you know little little toe looking and foot fetish nothing wrong with it great stuff there how, how do your feet look let's see uh <laughs> <laughs> I can't get these boots off. Oh, but, she can't get them off. But, but well. Gene knows what my feet look like because he's like, can I see your feet? Can I see your feet? I never thought I'd say that, you know, go go to blush and check out her feet as well would be any bit of a, uh, a Well, Jean line. thinks they're pretty, so. Well, that's why we need to see. I trust Jean's judgment. So did Kane Hodder. Uh, they're, well, All right, that's it. From Jason in we'll Manhattan. We'll keep talking. <laughs> Unzip as we talk here. This is, this. Is, you can't do this. I can't even get them off. They come up to here. I'll take care of this. Just. <laughs> she, There's no way I'm she getting is, them off. She is balking at this. All right, well, that's fair enough. I guess we'll. we'll... I could show you a picture on my phone of my feet. Well, that'll just be for me then. We can't propel yeah. that to the camera. <laughs> All right, so give, give us the body stats. So again, again, more enticing for blush. Friday night, Saturday night. Give us the body stats. How tall are you? I am five seven and a half. Five seven and a half. Boop size. Uh, thirty six D. Very nice. Very nice. Any tattoos on? All around, all around in the No, boobs. just this one comes down. Just that one? Yeah, good onto stuff. the boob a little bit. Very good I stuff. I have birds down here underneath them. I like it. Yeah, I, I think the only other, at least that I know that I've got to meet, I think the only other girl that would rival anywhere with tattoos in terms of numbers, I guess, would be uh, would be Bonnie Rotten. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't know if you knew. You know. I, I know her. You know Bonnie? Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. awesome. I love her. I, I figured you two would probably hit it off. Yeah, we did a tattoo convention in Atlantic City together with Tegan Presley. That's awesome. Yeah. So what's, talk me about the, you don't have to necessarily talk personal life but you've had a big change in your life with yeah. all this going on is every i mean is everybody around you supportive of that is that my all? whole entire family knows yeah yeah my like my whole entire family knows my husband supports me like he usually he usually comes when i feature dance yeah but he couldn't he has a job i can't talk about <laughs> but he couldn't get off so i came alone you came solo yeah but he he's completely supportive and we have a very interesting relationship. We're like partners in crime. As long as so, you're both happy, yeah. Yeah. Both happy. You're you're making money. You're 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 making your name out there. So yeah. nothing wrong with that. Well, check her out on Twitter, of course, at Brittany Shannon X. You can tw- check her out at Blush tonight and tomorrow night. Blush Ninth Street downtown. Of course, uh, hit the like button on this interview. Leave her some uh, some nice comments. Every week, Trib Live Radio, we're bringing you the Blush feature of the week. So. Definitely do not want to uh, miss out on anything here. Thank you so much for coming in. Good luck on the shows tonight. Thank you. Knock them dead. Hope you have the boots off by then. (laughs) I'm Justin LaVar's Tribline Radio. We'll be back with uh, something else. I don't know.